Hello, hello, writers. I'm Kristen Kiefer, author of fantasy fiction and creative writing resources, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast, where I share insights, encouragement, and actionable advice designed to help you craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, always in 30 minutes or less, so you can get back to writing, of course. Ready for the show? Let's get talking. Welcome once again, writers, to the Well Story Podcast. Today is September 23rd, 2016, and we are talking all about how to choose the perfect pen name. If you'd like to read along as you listen in, simply head on over to well-storied.com slash pen name. Now let's dive in. There are many reasons why an author might choose to publish under a pen name. Some authors use pseudonyms to maintain privacy or to separate their writing from their primary careers. Others choose pen names they feel are more memorable or a better fit for their genre. While authors who write multiple genres often publish under separate pen names to avoid confusion. Writers who bear the same or a similar name as another professional or public figure may choose to use a pen name to distinguish their work. Others may simply dislike their given names. No matter the reason you'd like to use a pen name, selecting the pseudonym that best fits you and your work can be tough. What factors should you consider? Is it possible to choose an ineffective pen name? Is the use of a pseudonym even right for you? Let's discuss. First up, we're going to answer the question of whether you should use a pseudonym in the first place. Modern circumstances don't necessitate the use of a pen name as heavily as history once did. Women no longer need to assume male pseudonyms to be published, and the normalization of a wide range of topics and stories means that far fewer writers need to use pseudonyms to avoid scandal. Nevertheless, pen names have their place in the modern publishing landscape. If you aren't sure whether you'd like to use a pen name, consider this. If you intend to earn a living as a writer, then you are, in essence, building a small business. Your books are your products, and your name is your brand. Readers tend to buy books from authors they know and love, meaning that name recognition sells. And while your authorial name likely won't make or break your success, it can impact how well readers recall you and your work. So, does your given name flow when read aloud? Is it relatively easy to spell and pronounce? Does the tone of your name match the genre you're writing? These are all questions worth considering when deciding whether to use a pen name. All this said, I'd like to emphasize that the name under which you publish is unlikely to make or break your success as an author. Adopting a pen name is a highly personal choice. And no writer should feel forced to use a pseudonym simply because it might help their books sell better. This holds especially true for writers who are considering a pseudonym simply because their given name isn't anglicized or Anglo-Saxon in origin. The publishing industry is becoming more diverse by the day, and the right kind of reader won't be put off by a name they don't instantly recognize. Similarly, I'd like to encourage women to think twice before committing to a pen name that's less traditionally feminine. There's nothing inherently wrong with using your initials or choosing a more androgynous pseudonym, but if you're only doing so to interest readers who wouldn't otherwise pick up your work, then I'd ask whether that's really the type of reader you'd like to attract. At the end of the day, the decision to use a pen name is up to you. So long as your reason feels right rather than restrictive, you're good to go. So, how can you choose the pen name that's right for you? Though there's no hard and fast rule book for choosing a pseudonym, the pen names that are most effective tend to be memorable, unique, and befitting of both the author and their work. If you've decided to use a pseudonym when you publish, here are three key tips to bear in mind. Tip number one, Consider your target audience. 
Knowing who you're writing for can help you determine a pen name that will best suit your intended audience. Generally speaking, an author's name doesn't immediately indicate the genre they write or the reader they write for. Danielle Steele could just as easily have been an author of fantasy fiction or literary dramas as she could romance. But sometimes, a name simply doesn't fit. Take Judith Rummel, for example. Judith wrote popular Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings fan fiction for years before publishing a young adult urban fantasy series. Knowing that her given name sounded a bit outdated for a YA audience, she chose to publish under a pseudonym. As Cassandra Clare, Judith's The Mortal Instrument series became a bestseller that spawned multiple spin-offs, a film adaptation, and a CW television show. Would she have found the same success if she'd published as Judith Romwalt? Maybe, but using a pseudonym definitely didn't hurt her career. Tip number two, keep it simple. Tempting though it may be, using a stylized pseudonym rarely comes across as anything but silly and unprofessional. So save Derek Bloodflow and Serafina Skydancer for your just-for-fun work. Nine times out of ten, the best pen name is one that could just as easily belong to a friend. Tip number three, try it on for size. In most cases, readers refer to authors by their pen names, so ensure the pen name you choose feels fitting, especially if you plan to do in-person events. If the thought of someone calling you by your chosen pseudonym doesn't feel right, then it might be time to go back to the drawing board. You may also wish to consider your online presence before committing to a pen name. Are the domain name and social media handles available? If you Google the pseudonym, do any unwelcome search results pop up? A bit of digital due diligence can make all the difference in ensuring a pen name is the right fit. Have you settled on a pseudonym that feels perfect for your work? Congratulations, writer. I can't wait to see your chosen pen name featured front and center on your first release. But don't worry if you're having trouble brainstorming a pen name that fits your needs. Sometimes the right choice simply needs time to percolate. But if you're well and truly stuck, then you may enjoy checking out the customizable pen name generator from the folks over at Invaluable that I've linked in today's episode transcript. It truly is, well, invaluable. Sound like a plan? Again, writer, I am so excited to see what pseudonym you choose. Happy writing! Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Podcast Writer. I hope you found it helpful to your writing journey. If so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode, and to give the podcast a quick rating or review. Doing so goes a long way toward helping the podcast reach new writers and lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating. You can also give me a shout out directly on Instagram at Kristen underscore Kiefer. For additional guidance as you work to craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, be sure to head on over to www.well-storied.com, where I share blog posts, workbooks, e-courses, and other helpful resources for writers. Again, that's w-e-l-l-s-t-o-r-i-e-d.com. Thank you again for tuning into today's episode, my friend. Until next time, happy writing!